Today we are doing free code cam, JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in basic JavaScript on challenge 78 of 113. So today we are going to uh, learn about multiple identical options in switch statements. Okay, so basically what this is going over is that uh, if a break is emitted a switch statements in a switch statements case, uh, the following statements are executed until a break is encountered, right? So a break is like a return statement in if else checks, it immediately ex or exits uh, and returns if it encounters a return. Same thing with the break in a switch statement, okay? So if you have multiple inputs with, that you want the same output from, you can represent them in a switch statement like so. So in case one, case two, and case three, we want the same result. We want this to print for each of those. So we can just align them up like this and uh, they'll it all essentially execute the same code here, okay? So for cases one, two, and three, they'll all produce the same result, which result gets assigned to this string here. So all we're gonna do in this example here is write a switch statement to set answer to the following ranges. One to three will be low, four to six will be mid, seven to nine will be high. Uh, note, you will need to have a case statement for each number in the range, okay? so. What we're going to do here is we have a function, takes in a value, we have an answer, and we return the answer, and we have to kind of put logic between that to make it, to assign answer here to whatever it should be based on the, the conditional checks in the switch statement. So just like a function, we start switch, taking in a condition, or taking in a parameter, an argument rather, take in val, because we have access to val from the function that the switch statement is within. And then we curly brace, curly braces to open it up uh, like a function. And then we're going to have multiple cases. So we're going to need a case from one to nine. So we can say case one. And I'm just going to copy this to make it easier. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so case one through three should change answer to be low and break. So one, two, three, should set answer to be assigned, single equals, should be assigned to low. And if that is the case, we want to break out of the switch statement. If it is not any of those, we want to continue with four, five, and six, Yep, and then we want to assign answer to be mid. And once again, we want to break out of the switch statement so we don't keep executing logic. And if it is not any of those, we want to go from seven, eight, and nine. And if it is any of those, we want the case result of answer assigned to high. And once again, we're at the end of our switch statement here. Um, we, you know, this is where you would have a break, but, uh, or I'm sorry, you would have a default, but because it is the end and we don't have a default, if it is none of these, it will just exit the switch statement. So we don't even need to break here. So if I run it, that should work. That'll do it. If it is any of these cases, it will set answer to low and then break. If it is not, it'll continue. If it's any of these cases, it'll set it to mid and then break continue. If it is not, it'll go through these cases and set answer to high. Okay, so once again, we don't need the break here because it's the end of the switch statement. So we can actually take that out and the code should run just the same. So I hope that helped guys. Hope to see you in the next challenge.